All right, we're going to create a histogram with Excel. Now, just to refresh, a histogram is a bar graph that shows quantitative data and allows us to uh, make some comparisons with this data. Now, uh, because we're using quantitative data, generally it is uh, continuous, and therefore the bars are probably going to touch, okay? So, now, when we're doing this, there's two ways to create a histogram in Excel, and it depends on your version of Excel. So, first we're going to do it the quick and easy way if you have a new version of Excel and then I'll show you how to do it with the an older version that way depending on how you have it so uh, new version is nice and easy so I'm first going to highlight my data so I click on the 85 and I drag down so that all of my data is highlighted and then I'm going to go up to insert and you can see we have this nice these blue it looks like a histogram and I click on that and I click histogram and so now it's going to give me the histogram now, generally, we don't just want three bars, right? When we're thinking about histograms, you want at least five bars. It gives a better range of data. If I double click on this, it opens up my side and bins, right now it's auto generated, but we can change the bin width. Um, if right now it's 330. I could maybe make it 250, see what that does. I could also change the number of bins and say, I want it to be six and it will automatically update for me. Uh, that's pretty nice. However, not all of us have the updated version. So let's talk about how to do this with the old version. Now, to do that, you do have to make sure you have under the data tab, something called data analysis. And if you don't have that, you can get it very quickly. So you go to tools, down to um, Excel add-in, and just make sure analysis tool pack is highlighted and click okay. It adds it just like that and then you're ready. So to do that, we do have to have the bins. So remember um, in that last example there, it had bins on the side. So to do this, I need to create the bins. And the bins are simply the high end, like the, the upper limit of the interval. So when I'm looking at this data, it goes from 85 to 960. We want the first interval to include my smallest number. So I think... Um, if we just think about you know the grouping, I want maybe my highest number to be um, 150. Let's go by 150. So 150, 300, 450, 600, 750, 900. Um, and these are the upper end, so I do need 1050. Okay, so these are the upper ends of my bins. All of my numbers are included in that. So now I go to data analysis. And I want a histogram, all kinds of analysis tools, but we're creating a histogram. Okay. Now for my input range, you can see that my input range is already highlighted. I've been playing with this for a while, right? So it goes from A2 to A23. You see those dollar signs um, because that's locked in. Now for my bin range, that's not right. Let me delete that. And you can do it two ways. You can either click and drag, which shows up or you could type it in c2 to c8 remember to keep your dollar signs now this output it's going to go to a new worksheet and i want the chart output so i'm going to go ahead and hit okay and so it's going to bring me to a new sheet and here's my histogram now the bad part is these bars don't touch right i mentioned earlier histogram is continuous data the bars are supposed to touch so if i double click on them again it brings me some data stuff on the right and the gap width, if I just move that to zero, it makes my bars touch. Um, and there we go. So now I don't know what this more zero thing is. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And that makes my nice little histogram. So that's the idea of creating a histogram in Excel. I give you two ways to do it depending on your Excel version.